What's up, collective? What's going on, YouTube? It's your girl, honey. Be back to deliver another daily buzz for you guys. <sighs> Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day ones. Those of you who have been rocking with me from the start. I appreciate you guys all so very much. Cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. If you just so happen to stumble across this video, you see something that you like right here, join our tribe, join our colony by hitting the subscribe button down below. Also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do premiere content to the channel, you guys. As always, tell a friend to tell a friend. If you're interested in any personals or any personal readings or donating to our channel in any way, check the description box down below. My contact information is listed there. Also, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do premiere content to the channel. As always, tell a friend to tell a friend. Protect me, spirit, as I channel these messages. Protect my tribe, my colony, as they receive these messages. Anyone sending us any evil eye, ill intent. Our negative energy, we give that energy up to the universe and allow them to transmute that for us. And send that back down to us in love, blessings, prosperity, luck, peace, hope, joy, and all that jazz, right? Um, so what I'm channeling so far, you guys, is I channel Taurus. Uh, you never miss your water until your well runs dry. And they're fussing, they're arguing. And I was I was pulled to the karmic the karmic debt. So um this may be from a karmic energy. The karmic has something to say, maybe. Or if you know your person is involved um, in another connection, then they may be arguing, right? And I also hear, and then a hush fell over the room. So it's almost like maybe someone is tired of arguing. And they're showing me someone walking out the door. So let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Give me messages, spirit. Give me messages. Ooh, ooh. I'm only with them because they make me look good. Damn. But they argue. I'm hearing I'm hearing easy on the outside, but hard on the inside. So they they put they put it together very well in the public eye. Um these might be two people that are very good looking together or this comic may be very good looking, so maybe this person. But this person is seeing that it's, it's easy on the outside, hard on the inside, right? So it's hard to deal with behind closed doors. I'm hearing you, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. And then they're showing me someone walking into the house and the door slamming behind them. And then right before the door closes, they're showing me someone like with an evil grin, almost like the Joker. Okay, let me see. I'm only with them because they make me look good. It's here. And then I make up excuses to avoid avoid having sex with the karmic. So this may be what the arguments are about. Like your person is no longer um, being intimate with this karmic. Hmm. What I'm hearing is they do it to each other. So both of these people in this connection may be stepping out on one another. Or they both have wandering eyes. Right? It says, I'm drowning my sorrows with my vices. Thank you. So one of these vices, um, someone may be cheating. Karmic may be, may be some, I'm not going to say the karmic. Someone may be stepping out on the relationship and then the other one is drowning their sorrows and their vices. So this could be partying. Um, this could be, you know, hooking up with third parties. Take a fist, leave the rest, you guys. This I hear also hear gambling. Um, they're showing me the casino, like that, that wheel. So I'm seeing Will of Fortune. I, I'm hearing as the world turns. So it's just like a saga. Their their relationship is like a is like a uh, a saga. So where I'm from, like my grandparents, my ancestors used to call um call it the stories. Like you know, like the young and the restless as the world turns. Those were known as the stories, right? Like a never ending saga. It's a drama. It's almost like it's <laughs> okay. They're showing me like. Y'all know when y'all go to a play and then like they drape the curtains. I'm I'm hearing curtain call. And then I'm hearing the dramatics of it all. Like so this this karmic may be dramatic. Um there's a lot of drama going on in this situation. There's a lot going on, y'all. Like I'm channeling a lot. And these are just things that I'm seeing. These are visions that I'm having. Um there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of drama in this connection. It says facing my fears has been hard, but I'm ready to face them. Yes, yeah, so um 
They're showing me someone walking out. It's almost like, I don't know if this karmic tries to leave or this person tries to leave. And for one way or another, they always go back, go back because it's familiar because of the family is what I'm hearing. They're showing me kids. They're showing me a dog. What else? I'm afraid if I leave my karmic, I won't find anyone better. So this person may feel like this is all they deserve. But this is because this may be both of them, y'all, because they've settled in this for so long. So long. This is this is a tale of two people that settled. And I'm hearing a tale of two cities that may be significant. I'm hearing Charles. I'm hearing Kirk. Um... I'm hearing Kelly, K-E-L-L-I-E, -L -L -E, specifically. That's how they spelled it. Like, it's in, I'm seeing it in big, bold letters. Um, I'm hearing Chance. What else? I got trapped into this relationship. I've been trying to get out. Like, yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, they, every time... Um, okay, so I'm hearing, every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you in my life. And then I'm seeing someone with a little devil sitting on their shoulder. So this may be a fear of this person. Like, you know, like, if I leave, I'm not going to find any better. Um, like, it's scary. It's almost like it's scary. So this is why this person come back. There's a lot of breakup to make up going on here. There's a lot of breakup to make up going, in, going on here. I worry about what others would say or think if we broke up. Yes. So it's familiar. A lot of people know it. There's a family structure. There's things in place here. This person is also afraid, whoever it is, whether it's this person or the karmic or both, um, that they won't find anybody else. And for some of you, this person may feel like this is what they deserve because I, I heard you get served what you deserve or you never miss your water till your well runs, runs dry. Right? And then I'm hearing, I just want it to be over. I don't know who sings that. It's a song. This relationship has become abusive in every way. Thank you. So this person may, um, whoever this is in the scenario, you guys, this karmic may tell this person, nobody's going to want you. Like, they take a jab at their self-esteem, at their masculinity or their self-esteem. Um, There's a lot of abusive banter going on between the two. They're showing me Queen of Swords. This person may be very sharp with the words. Like, they don't care what they tell this person. But it's kind of like... I'm seeing a, 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 a energy, y'all. Like, and it's like they're cur curled up in a fetal position. Like, sitting in a corner with their feet, their feet tucked up to their chest. And, like, their arms are wrapped around their knees. Like, someone is going through it. Someone is going through it in a karmic connection. I'm telling y'all. This may be someone that they have been with for a period of time, maybe eight years. I'm hearing 18 years or when, when they were 18 or like these could have been high school sweethearts. Um, I don't have to be y'all that specific. Don't take, take what resonates, leave the rest. Take what resonates, leave the rest. What else? I'm only with them out of convenience. Yeah, because it's familiar. It's what everybody knows. And it's convenient. I'm hearing cheaper to keep, keep her. Cheaper to keep her. Cheaper to keep him. It's cheaper to stay. I'm going to leave them. Just need time to, to do things right. So it's like this person is trying to think of a game plan. But some of you, this person could be trying to... um. They're showing me the same image of the of the the energy sitting in the corner. Like this person is like using a wall to try to get up. Like this person is trying to get up. They're trying to build their self esteem back. For some of you, they may be trying to build their money up. They're trying to um, build tough skin so that it doesn't bother them what people would have to say um, if if and when they decide to go. So someone get somebody somebody's getting ready to leave. They're showing me somebody literally sitting on a fence, and then I see Humpty Dumpty like falling off a wall. Like things are really falling apart. Things are really falling apart over there. I pretend to be the perfect partner, but they both do. They pretend that everything is great to the outside public, right? People would never would never think or believe what goes on behind closed doors with these two. Whoever um this third party is, they may put their hands on this person. 
Let me put their hands on this person, definitely. I'm scheming on the low, trying to trap my karmic. And I feel like this is the karmic. Like this karmic is trying to keep this person, trap this person. It's almost like they're trying to... This person may have trapped this... This person, this karmic may have trapped this person with a baby. They may have trapped this person with a baby. They may have trapped this person with a baby. It says I'm obsessed. Um, I feel I've lost control. I don't know why. I'm not even happy. There. Someone is trying to hold on to control. Like staying there. This, someone has control in the situation. And this is why they stay. But I feel like both parties are unhappy. One, someone's trying to control. Someone's trying to scheme to get out of it. It's like a back and forth. Going back and forth. Like it, it's, a, it's a hamster wheel. Like it's an ongoing cycle. This shit never ends. When, as the world turns. This is it's drama. It's a lot of drama. This is connection filled with drama. Someone cares a lot about what, what people have to say. Someone feels like they're trapped. Someone did the trapping. This is crazy. It says, I'm addicted to toxic relationships. There's a part of me that enjoys the drama. Thank you, spirit. I'm so used to this roller coaster. It's starting to feel normal. It's familiar. This is a hamster wheel. These people have been on the, in the same connection on the same hamster wheel um, for a while. This is all they know, pretty much. But this is pretty much all they know. This is pretty much all they know, for real. Mm -mm. So there's a lot of pretending there's a lot of pretending going on in this in this uh connection um i'm hearing showboating so this may be flashy people like someone may be flashy in the connection what else what's some tarot someone is like yeah indecided undecided indecided <laughs> indecisive this person is indecisive they both are but i fear i Oh, I fear. Okay. And I was going to, I said, I fear. And then I, what I was going to say, this person, I was going to say, I feel this person, but I said, I fear this person. So this person is saying that they're in fear. They're in fear. This person is, they really scared. Like they don't know what's to come, right? For a lot of you, this is someone that they have been with a while and they don't, they don't know, like they don't know what's out there, right? They don't know what lies ahead. This person is also afraid that if they leave this behind, will they find someone else? You see, this is it's, it's stable, it's familiar, it's something that they've been attached to for a long time. This is something that they've been with for a long time. Look, stay or go is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Y'all, look, look how crazy this is. <laughs> the lovers with the nine of swords, and then right under that, you had the two of pentacles. Stay or go. This is what they're this is what the worry is. Should I stay or should I go? If I go, what will happen beyond that? Right? So this person is indecisive. They're, they can't make a decision. Look, fear, fear. Fear. The moon is fear. If I leave this home, if I leave this home, will I get a, another opportunity, or am I betraying myself? Mm -hmm. Some this this person may also fear that this uh this third part of this karmic has another part uh, another lover, or this may be how this this karmic feels. Someone someone. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing that not to be trusted. So this person don't trust this karmic. They may not trust each other. You know, put yourself where it fits or put whoever fits wherever, you guys. Maybe the karmic cheating, maybe your person. I feel like it's the karmic, though. I feel like it's the karmic. And somebody has fear. Someone is in fear and someone's cheating. It, there's, there's been betrayal here, right? And someone is like, um, if I let it all go, will I prosper? Single, sexy, and free with the nine of pentacles. With the nine of pentacles being here. This person also feels like they stabbed you in the back. Let me see. Let me see. What does this person... What does this person want to... Let me get these. What does this person want to say? This is a karmic ties deck. Let's see. Let me just read. Be patient. Oh person is uh, but be, uh, be patient and then it's, i heard i'm losing my patience y'all excuse me i i stutter over my words i stumble over my words when i'm channeling y'all it's like i get the messages so fast and i try to speak them so fast and sometimes i get caught over my words i trip over my words and then i heard they're tripping over you so you may be the cause of this these arguments i'm not saying the cause but that the some of the arguments stem around you or maybe this karmic feels like this person is cheating with you, right? 
I feel like you're too good for me. Yeah, and I said chilling in the beginning. This person may feel like this is all they this is all they deserve. But it says they're addicted to toxic relationships. There's a part of me that enjoys the drama. Both of them. They, they've gotten comfortable in this. Like, you know, like, as hard as it may be to believe. Like, a lot of people are comfortable in chaos. And which is why you find people settling for relationships that they don't really want to be in. Staying with people that they don't love. Or staying alone. You know, like, you have to know when to let go. The job, the friendship, the relationship, whatever. You got to know when to leave. You got to know when to pack it up and go home. And when I say go home, that's returning to self. Like, what makes you happy on the inside, right? Regret is here. And then I miss you is here. The worry that nine of swords that came out this person is definitely in regret i miss you i miss you this person is i want to see what the regret is about look the it, it wanted to pop right out narcissist this karmic is a narcissist y'all karmic some somebody in, is a narcissist and again i need time to um figure this out like what am i gonna do this person don't know what to do at this point person don't know what to do at this point and see i don't want to go backwards remember I, I said like they keep going back and forth it's back and forth this person is tired of this back and forth routine this person some this person ready to shake the spot so, somebody ready to shake the spot i am closing this cycle thank you for the confirmation spirit thank you for the confirmation spirit <laughs> i'm not laughing at your person y'all i just love when they come through and they verify what i've been saying fighting my demons fighting their fears this person is going back and forth they're going back and forth this person is at this time is unable to um Make a decision. Woo. Let me see. Let me see. I want to clarify one thing, y'all. And I'll wrap up this reading. What is this regret? What is this regret? I regret not telling you the truth. I'm here and I regret not telling you the truth. I regret not telling you the truth. What is this regret, spirit? Mm. Yeah, it's in the source here twice. Damn. It's almost like they regret this relationship. They regret putting in the work. They regret staying as long as they did. Somebody's in regret. Someone is in regret that they stayed as long as they did. That they didn't free themselves long ago. Look, that they put in this work. That they put in this work for so long. It's almost like this. they've been saw the signs. They've been saw the signs. Look, damn. Somebody regrets a relationship. For some of your marriage. Hire for their reverse. Y'all saw that shit? Oh, wow. Whew. It's hard. This person is having a hard time. Look, Nine of Swords comes out again. This person feels like this connection with this person is burdensome. They regret, regret not alleviating themselves from the stress. You have Ten of Swords that came out twice and you have Nine of Swords that came out twice. Com like confirmation. And on top of that, Ace of Swords on the deck. Spirit says that's a motherfucking truth. Oh, wow. Ain't that something? I hope this resonated for one of you, some of you, all of you. Until next time, love and light.